Merry Christmas. They're playing Christmas music at the grocery store. Therefore, it's Christmas. Wow, 4K fluke. What do I do with all these pixels? Today, I'm going to try something new. Now, remember back in the in good old days before Nam? <laughs> before Nam? Before Vietnam? When I used to look at Italian fur posting. That was a good place for furry memes. It was fun. There was a lot of stuff going on there, and I might return one day. They decided to make another furry uh, telegram chat. And this one's called... Lo-fi furs. What is lo-fi, you might ask? Lo-fi is the music that you listen to while you're studying. <laughs> Whenever I'm studying and I need something in the background, I put on my favorite lo-fi music from YouTube. Pull up that link. Oh, I, I have to put it here. This is the YouTube channel. You can listen to lo-fi music and it's just super chill and it helps you concentrate. So if you get easily distracted like me, just put on some lo-fi music. Well, lo-fi is not only a type of music, it's also a way of life. And that's exactly what this channel, Telegram Chat, wants to cultivate. So come with me into this journey as we explore lo-fi first. Let's call them memes. Lo-fi memes, everyone. Oh, look at this dog playing guitar in the autumn. In turbulent times like these, we just need a dog playing guitar in the autumn. This is adorable. Who drew this? Eb me. Eb me, I give you three claps. Oh, when you think it's anime, but it's actually furry because they have a little bit of a muzzle. They're all sharks. What? Oh my God. This is my new favorite anime. Is boy licking ice cream in the middle of the city. It's like a very sketchy city. Where? This looks like it's from an actual anime. Oh my god. Little boy meets little kid, and they're giving each other a fist bump. This is adorable. I love this style. Who drew that? I'll leave a little link in the description of this Telegram chat channel. And they do a great job with citing the sources of all the images. So it looks like uh, Nishiko is the artist, so feel free to check them out. They have earned a follow from me. Every single time that I see this bridge right here, I think of Grand Theft Auto. Nothing else comes to mind, just Grand Theft Auto. I don't know why. It, it reminds me of like the airport at Grand Theft Auto. You know what I'm talking about? You don't? Well, maybe you should play the game. I don't know if it's really furry related, but I could get down with it. I could jiggy jiggy with it. Wait, what? This is so soothing. I am just about to go and study after I shoot this video, and now I am in the studying mood. You know, you have like gloomy day, and big windows, and you have your candles lit. You're focused on the task at hand. Sometimes that's what everybody needs, okay? Just a little bit of focus. Beautiful, thank you. Oh, is that real? No, it's not, it's a painting. Check out that reflection. Tell me who can paint a better reflection than this artist right here. It's lo-fi and I'm vibing with it. Mm. Just take a moment. Just take it in. I wish I could just sketch like that. <laughs> I don't even see like the, the circle that you have to draw when you draw a head. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta draw the circle and then you draw the muzzle. I don't see any of that. It looks like they just sketched it off of their brains. That was a very talented artist. Ooh, look at that. Hell yeah, man. This looks like Casey Neistat's setup, except with guns. Actually, it doesn't look like Casey Neistat's setup at all. This looks like post-apocalyptic. You know, this guy's like hacking into the system, and this guy's like preparing to rob a grocery store, but there's zombies everywhere. I, I like these kind of images that they just like, they tell a, a million words. Like you look at them and you're like, oh, what's going on? What's even better is like the artist doesn't really give you much of a description as to what's going on. So you have to figure it out yourself. Very nice. Ooh, this one looks like it could go on a shirt. Lovely. Oh, we have Samurai Jack, but furry edition. Is that a grenade? Samurai Jack with a grenade. Coming your way. Ooh. <laughs> he is luxurious. The 1975, that is my favorite band. I know you're not referencing my favorite band, but it's just, I like these kind of designs. One day when I'm living in a mansion and I have a bunch of art on the walls, I'm not gonna have some trashy furry art on the walls. No, I'm gonna have this on the wall. I'm gonna walk through my hallway and be like, hmm, quaint. As I hold up my wine, so lo-fi, so relaxed. I'm so chill right now. Oh, we got coffee break, eh? With an E? Hell yeah, where's my coffee? I already drank it. What is going on? What are you guys fighting over? Is, is one of you trying to watch Fluke and the other of you trying to watch Majira? Well, I'm glad that this one's winning. <laughs> I'm sorry, Majira. We're, I'm friends with Majira, okay? We're friends, I talk to him sometimes. Wow. That is so detailed. I just love the expressions in the eyes. See, this is why I appreciate 
the artists of the furry fandom. Like, when are you gonna see art that is as detailed and as beautiful and as original as this? Probably everywhere, but the furry fandom has a large surplus of very great artists, and I applaud all of you. This is so, like, I love the ambience, you know? The ambiance. This is gorgeous. Mm. Ooh, and let me just soak all that in. Mm. Let me just take in all that energy. Mm. Put that on my face. Nice lo-fi lotion for your face. Oh, I'm moisturized. I have no clue why I'm so energetic. Actually, I know exactly why I'm so energetic. I had a coffee. Merry Christmas. Ooh, here we got BNA illustrations. Let's check this one out. Now, I've only seen three episodes of BNA. I have not gotten through very much of it, but I appreciate this TV show, okay? I love the dual tone. It's like, it's like a nice juxtaposition. Is that the right word to use? I try to learn more $5 words, okay? That is gorgeous. Where are they going? Zootopia? It does look like Zootopia, though. Oh my god. We got Coco Melon Furry Edition. It's a fox that's supposed to go around your neck. I was traveling and I was going through uh, airport security and the security guard was like, Oh, is that your pet? I was like, girl, you know. So I'm not actually allowed to have pets, so I just have stuffed animals. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Give me more of this. Finally, I have found the image for my thumbnail. <laughs> Fluke, how do I make good thumbnails for YouTube videos? Just find some really cute, sexy, hot, buff hunk of a furry and then put that as your thumbnail. Enhance. <laughs> Let me just say that I greatly appreciate the stars to cover up the nipples. When someone asks who I want to be when I grow up, I just look at this image and I know exactly what I want to be when I grow up. I want to be a sexy hunk. <laughs> Ooh, I think I recognize this art. Um, Kankit. It, it's by Kankit, isn't it? Let's check out who is by. Dash Nikito. Um, I don't know who this person is. Oh wow, what? I haven't seen any of this art before. I'm sorry for assuming that your art is uh, Kankit art. It's just so detailed and it's like, this is beautiful, wow. Oh, is that Kyle? Well, you've earned a follow from me, my good friend. Block, why, why is the block button so big on For Affinity? <laughs> it's like right next to the watch button. You can either watch or you can block. Nothing else. Okay, let's uh, let's give it a couple more images, and then I'll uh, and then I'll call it quits. Oh uh, my goodness, I can appreciate a couple of hunks eating pizza on a hot day. That bottle of soda that looks a bit larger than two liters, <laughs> unless they're very small hunks. Oh wow! So this is another kind of art that I would love to have hung up in my house one day, in my mansion, of course. Just this cute little border collie with his big eyes playing in the mud. Nothing wrong with that. Just having a great time. I appreciate this work of art. Thank you for putting it into the world. Man, I feel so calm and relaxed just going through this Telegram chat. Now this, this is art right here. We have Bull with Coco Melon on top of his head. What more could you ask for? This is really cool. Like, I could see this being album art for somebody's EP, you know? It reminds me of, like, Gorilla's album art where there, it's like a, a side view. It's just a really cool perspective. You get three claps. Well, that was a lot of fun lo-fi images to look at. I, I feel so relaxed and rejuvenated, and I'm ready for 2021, even though we have one more month of this god-awful year to go. <laughs> I hope this video cheered you up a little bit in these crazy wavering times, because I properly believe that we need more lo-fi in our lives, okay? It relaxes you, and it makes you appreciate beautiful art and beautiful vibes within this fandom. If you like what you saw, leave a little like, and if you want to see more of the stuff that I post, make sure to hit subscribe. Make sure to check out my merch, I have an awesome hoodie for sale. It's nice and warm, premium materials, and it'll get you through the winter. I hope you have a great rest of your week, and I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye.